So my transmission flush just turned into a no start problem somehow. I thought that uh, underneath here I didn't have the hose connected right and it sprayed the wire harness over here with transmission fluid. I thought that it was going to come out of that hose but it came out of that hose on the radiator. Sprayed all over the transmission fluid so I sprayed it all down with electrical cleaner. Still wouldn't start. Tried adding fuel because it was below a quarter tank. Still wouldn't start. Checked up here. Clean the battery cables. Clean the coils. You name it. Wouldn't start. Tried starting fluid. Wouldn't work. Turns out the infamous inertia switch which is right here. What that does is when your vehicle, if your vehicle is to roll over it, that's supposed to pop and shut off fuel supply. Well, somehow that got tripped while we were draining the transmission fluid. And so I thought it was a transmission or a short somehow underneath the uh, hood somewhere. But turns out that's what the problem is. So if I can get a little closer shot here, there's a button on the top there. That button needs to be pushed down. If that button pops up, then that means your vehicle rolled over or just did it on its own and it shuts off fuel flow. So if you have a fuel problem where the engine will turn over, but it doesn't start, that's the first thing you want to check. Make sure that button's pushed down.